This is a part of the traditional bazaar of Isfahan. Listen. It might seem like chaos at first, but what you're hearing is magic in the making. Magic of hands that turn this into this. Welcome back to Narciss Complex channel. Today, we talk about the art of Qalamzani. Walking in the traditional bazaars of Isfahan, Iran, you can see so many shops back to back making and selling different types of handicrafts. There are tens of different handicrafts made in the city of Isfahan, and we've already covered a few of them, like Minakari and Khatamkari. In this channel, we try to explore the culture, art, and food of Iran. Talking to you from Narciss Hostel in the heart of Isfahan, and in this video, we will explore how such beautifully engraved dishes are created in a process that is called Qalamzani in Persian language, and is famous as Turodex around the world. Qalamzani literally means pen hitting. By pen, it means chisel, as the major part of the art is chiseling patterns onto metal surfaces. By the way, if you're interested in the culture, arts, handicrafts, and the delicious food from around Iran, make sure to subscribe and check out our other videos. We would appreciate it as it really helps us to grow. In the art of Qalamzani, Turodex, the artist takes a simple whistle like this and engraves different types of meticulous patterns and designs on them. It is baffling to think that all this, from start to finish, is done by hand. But let's start at the beginning and go through the process step by step. To observe every step of the process, we visited a branch of the Hassanabad traditional bazaar of Isfahan, dedicated to Qalamzani. The art of Turotex is applied on metal vessels made from copper, brass, silver, and gold. Copper and silver are the most popular ones as copper vessels can be used regularly and silver ones are great as decoration. In the very beginning, craftsmen should make the bare vessels out of these discs. Here, the master mounts a disc on the spinning wheel and by applying pressure molds it into the shape of a vessel. By mounting different shape molds, and using different sizes of discs, he can make so many different types of dishes and wares. Here is another kind of vessel that he made for us to see. For bigger dishes, like trays and bowls, more traditional methods are used. For example, here the artist keeps hammering the copper from inside and outside to shape it into equal lobes like this. Once the basic vessel is ready, it is time to start engraving it, which is the main part of this art form. 
Engraving is done with hammerwork and chisel which can be very noisy. Also, the harsh impact of sharp chisel on empty vessels could bend the metal and put holes in it instead of applying the pattern. To avoid these problems, the vessels are covered in thick tar. Here you can see the liquid hot tar poured into base bowls and left to cool down and get hard. The side of the vessel that is not engraved will be covered in tar which makes a solid back plate not allowing the metal to bend too much and also provides a padding for the sound to be absorbed. The patterns that are applied on the vessels are versatile from bird and flowers to animals, people and also scenes from famous stories and myths of Iran. There are different methods of engraving that Turetic artists use, but we won't get into the details of how these methods are different, as it can be very complex. But the overall process is the same. At first, the artists draw the pattern mostly by hand on the vessels. In some cases, especially among new learners of the art, they use a printed and dotted pattern and they use black soot to temporarily imprint the pattern on the vessel. After that, the artists pick a chisel and start hammering in the design. Exactly as a painter has different types of brushes, the Qalamzani artist has different types of chisels at their disposal. Different chisels can be used in different places to carve deeper or shallower, softer or sharper imprints, as the tips are shaped in different ways. <laughs> Once the engravings are done, the work is polished and prepared to go behind the window for purchase. Engraving a vessel completely takes a lot of time and dedication, and like a lot of other handicrafts, takes a toll on your body and your eyes. And still, there are many people who come into the bazaar every day and get to work in each workshop, with many of the masters having 30 to 50 years of experience in the craft. That just shows you the love that is put into each of these works. Unfortunately though, as we talk to the masters in the bazaar, they all express their concern about how the number of the young people joining this craft is decreasing year after year. Still, knowing the hard work that goes into these sweet artifacts and the way that the artists breathe life into a lifeless object gives it a soul and elevates it from just a pretty looking souvenir. Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in handicrafts, don't miss our videos on the process of Persian carpet and the traditional handicrafts of Minakari and Khatamkari. We have a lot of other videos coming out about handicrafts of Iran. Also, we have videos coming out about other dishes and culinary culture of Iran as well. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for those videos. Thanks and see you in the next video.